can I start by asking you exactly what conversations are underway between the new Taliban leadership in Kabul and other Afghan constituencies? Is there any talk or progress towards some kind of new government? Yes, uh, our uh, program is uh, to form an Afghan inclusive Islamic uh, government. So uh, I expect uh, uh, there will be uh, in future, in a few days, deliberation for that. Do you know who you're having those inclusive talks with? We understand former President Hamid Karzai might be involved, um, former Foreign Minister Abdullah Abdullah. Are these the kinds of people who you are talking to? Oh, so, uh, I, I think there will be some well-known uh, figures, but uh, right now, uh, I can't say by name, but there will be some well-known figures, yes. The Taliban and your leaders have said the war is over, we have won, and the occupation and uh, forces have gone, and we now have our independence. Many believe that the Taliban simply wants to take total control and total power. Why should anybody believe that under the circumstances you're interested in other members of the Afghan nation being involved in the future? Uh, because uh, we think it is important for a durable peace in Afghanistan. And because it is uh, the basis of our policy that we do not want a monopoly of power. And uh, when we can have a comprehensive, durable peace, when uh, all Afghans have participation in a future uh, government, that's why we call it uh, an Afghan inclusive Islamic uh, uh, government. So for that reason, uh, we want uh, to have uh, uh, this government, Afghan inclusive government. Okay. So as you know, uh, Sohail Shaheen, uh, for the last several, I would say months, certainly the Doha negotiations, the last several weeks and days, as you have conducted this lightning and very well strategized takeover of the country, most in the international community are saying, well, we can't really trust what the Taliban says. Let us look at what they are doing. So you say no revenge, amnesty for even the other side, even the soldiers from the Afghan government side. And yet you can see the scenes of chaos at the Kabul airport where terrified Afghans are escaping you. They're trying to escape you right now, clinging to aircraft, falling from wings of planes, just scrambling to get out. They are terrified. They must have a reason to be terrified. What can you say to these people? I think they do not have reason.